Ava Leapheart. I'm the art teacher at Greenvale Park. And I wanted to show you some of the work that's up on display at the Guild from our Greenvale Park geckos. Um, I'm going to start with the kindergarten and show you some of these flowers right here that kindergarten geckos painted. Uh, they were focusing on learning about observational drawing and painting and actually trying to look at what they see as opposed to what's in their head. And so they did some close studying of flowers to paint these. And you can see some really close looking at like petals that aren't quite even, they're different shaped. Uh, little details on top of the petals, things like this, uh, actual realistic colors. And they made them super sized. They were looking at the artist Georgia O'Keeffe and thinking about how she made super sized flowers. We'll head on over to first grade. So first grade artists at Greenville Park have been studying shapes in their neighborhood. And they made a series of collages and prints as well. And you can see both here. You can see both prints and collages. Um, they used pictures of actual downtown Northfield to do that. So you can see in some of these collages here, little windows, even signs from downtown businesses in Northfield, and they cut those apart and created their own buildings inspired by downtown Northfield. Again, thinking about what shapes might they find in their immediate neighborhood and how could they get inspiration from where they live. <laughs> so up here, uh, we have these gorgeous seashells made by second grade artists from Greenvale Park. They were drawing based on actual seashells at their table and trying to notice all of the lines, colors, and shapes you might see in a seashell. And really, really paying attention to detail as they did so because at first glance most seashells tend to look kind of beige or tan and they actually started to notice all of the little dents and colors and quirks of individual seashells resulting in a variety of different shells painted here. And here we have some third grade work from our Greenville Park geckos. These are block prints. Uh, third graders use carving tools to actually carve into a soft cut linoleum to create these two color prints. Something that's particularly awesome about these prints is that the two colors means they had to print each image, print twice on each image, and actually register their two layers. For example, on one that has a pink background, that means that the student first made a pink print and then carved away the negative space around the bird and printed again in yellow on top, creating a two-color print, which is a pretty complex thing to do, and they really pulled it off. So here we have some fourth grade art. We have collages of Minnesota landscapes that fourth grade artists made. Uh, with these collages, students were focused on creating the illusion of depth in a picture. And we looked at a variety of different artists and talked about how is it that artists take a flat surface and make it look like it goes far back into the distance. So they use techniques such as overlapping of the layers to make things look farther away as well as diminishing size so that smaller objects appear to be, well, farther away objects appear to be smaller and things that are closer have more detail and are larger in scale. And so you can see a variety of different, of those different techniques used in these pieces here. This one, I thought the, the little the student took a paper clip and made it into an irrigation system. Pretty clever. Let's see, there's fourth grade, fourth, and then some fifth grade works we have up here. We have some self-portraits that fifth grade artists at Greenville Park made. Uh, they actually created these on iPads. They first drew the picture of themselves on paper, paying special attention to proportion of their faces. Um, and they drew it on paper and then took a photo using their iPads and colored it using an app. Um, the result is really vibrant and even comes out great when you print it. Uh, and you can see each of their personalities coming through in these portraits as well. 